All right, hey everybody. We are hanging out here in Houston. We're gonna give you a quick video of this Pioneer radio that we've installed here in this beautiful 40-foot Country Coach Magna 630. Hanging out down in the South Houston area, outside of Perland. And what we've got here is these older clear up until I want to say 05 and 06 I think even 07s we had the single din flip out pioneer um, the flip out mechanism is always problematic if you have a Kenwood a Jensen a Sony or so on and so forth um, so what we've got here is a pioneer that we've put in this would be the pioneer networked entertainment experience series that they've got out now so you've got your single din radio hole here in the back and then if instead of a flip out you get a fixed face so you don't have to worry about that as you see here it's already onto this screen and then it's going to automatically pop up i'm pretty sure yep to the backup camera so there's your backup camera image and then of course we've got it integrated into the turn signals for the right and the left and then we've got that backup image now what's really cool is as you see it went back to here after I did the turn signals and now here in just a second it's actually going to pop back up to that backup image. And what's pretty cool is if you hit the X it's going to take it all off. If you hit this one here it's kind of a time thing and then it actually takes you to this screen and then you can hit this button over here on the left hand side and that's going to bring you to all your options. And then that way while you're driving down the road you can even get a small image of your backup camera there. And since I hit that timed, when I quit hitting the buttons, it automatically went back. So I can hit that again. Now this is going to be all uh, Bluetooth CarPlay or Android Play. And so you could actually just simply hit this button here and it's going to bring up your phone and be able to dial and all that stuff. And then with the CarPlay and all those integrations in there, you can use the Waze app for your navigation or your regular navigation and just bring them up onto the radio which is really nice and then you've got this USB port here with the auxiliary port too so that way you can direct connect your phone and charge it if you don't want to have it doing it Bluetooth so it gives you a real nice integration then I like to do personally is this dash home switch that's located down here I like to hook it up to the power to the radio on that red wire which is going to be the uh, accessory input for like a car or whatnot but since we're in a motor coach I actually hooked that up so it's going into that dash home switch so now the radio is off the two speakers under the ceiling are going to be for your home theater system and then as soon as you're ready to go you flip that switch on automatically switches the two speakers back of course and then it's going to turn your radio on again it's pretty nice integration the pioneers coming in at i think right up around 1100 bucks and then we've got another 50 or I think 75 for the Sirius XM tuner, which I've added down here. And then that way you can get all the Sirius app and whatnot. And then this is going to even come with a remote control. So while you're driving, you can just kind of toss it in your lap. And then you can actually turn the radio stations up and down with the remote. And then not have to reach up to get to the radio. So it's kind of a nice option there. And now we've come out here to Houston. I've done a pop-up TV. I ran the HDMI cables all on yesterday. Got that all integrated. That was over at Lakeview RV Resorts just outside of downtown Houston. And got all that taken care of. And then I've come over. And then he wanted to be able to use an alarm system and have a key fob to be able to get him in. Because these older Trimarks are kind of problematic. So we bypassed the push button numbers on the door and have added in the CompuStar key fob remotes. So now you've got lock. It's going to lock all the doors, flash all the park lights and everything for you. And then you've got the unlock. And now that's going to unlock all the doors and everything for you there. Integrated into it. So the lock and the unlock right here at the base switch locks and unlocks all the bays and the entry door so if you're in here in the evening and you just want to lock all the doors in your bays you just hit lock locks your entry door and everything and then in the morning when you get up you just hit that unlock that's going to open all the bays for you i'll show you real quick uh, the installation of that over here on the front run box pulled all the trimark stuff out of there 
and then integrated that into here. So that's going to be it. And then here's going to be your relays for your power locks. So that kind of sums up what we've done here today. Hanging out here in Houston, getting stuff dialed in. Beautiful, like I said, 2000 and I want to say this is a 2006. If I remember right, let's look at the coach numbers. 65 66 yeah if i'm not mistaken this would be an 06 06 05 is pretty much the same just a different paint scheme and of course some different interior stuff so thanks everybody for watching i hope that is kind of informational for you kenwood does make one of these but it's a doubled in so that's only going to work in the newer stuff and then um the alpine is a single din also the availability on the Alpines are hard. They're saying that there's some chip manufacturer in China or somewhere that burned down. And so they're having a problem getting the chips and whatnot for the Alpines. So really happy with this Pioneer. I don't have any problem with it. It seems like it's a good, nice, reliable unit. And it's getting to get you nailed down. So I want to thank everybody for watching the channel. Hitting that subscribe button and liking the content. Leave a comment below. Um, I did have someone say, how, would you, how do you know those windows are foggy? Well, you can just simply see in the panes. And the reason why these, well, you can't see it from the outside, of course, because they're the mirrored image. But on this one, you can kind of see the outside edges. Some people ask, well, why are the windows getting all foggy and whatnot? Well, it has to do with heat and elevation that ends up popping those seals. So that's kind of the sum it up. In the older years, the butyl which this window has been repaired at some point, kind of pops up sometimes. So that's what's actually happening here on the driver's side. And then this coach, I think, eh, it was made 5 of 05. So it may be an 05 country coach, but either way, 5, 6, pretty much the same. But that'll happen in the older country coaches. Luckily, I want to say in 97 is when we introduced the dual panes. So all the 96s, like my coach, are going to be single pane glass. So you're not going to have those problems. Um, Premier RV sales and service in Oregon does split those windows and get that fog out of there and rebuilds them. And put new decadent in there, which is what absorbs any water that may be in the windows when they're put together. So, all right, everyone. Thanks very much. I hope you're enjoying the channel and the content. I know it's been a couple days since we got a video out, but we've been out on the road watching Supercross and whatnot and uh, just checking things out there and helping my buddy old uh, Max Miller. He just went pro and helping him out on his coach yesterday a little bit, getting some of the TVs dialed in and whatnot. So thanks again, everyone. Hope you like the content. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Really like uh Thank everybody for that has subscribed for hit, helping me hit that 4,000 mark. And then like and comment below. So thanks again, everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. Till next time. Bye-bye.